entertainment. <laughs> as you already know, you'll be guarding this place until six in the morning. And as your boss, I'm obliged to help you understand your job and the tools you'll be allowed to use during the shift. So, first things first. I've got to be honest, your current setup might not be very optimal, so to say. I didn't have time to prepare a designated room for you in the location, so you'll just have to manage with using one of the internet cafe monitors near the stage. Next to the gang. Don't start complaining just yet. I set a nice spot near the window for you. Even brought a fan. Anyway, the phone you have in your hand. It's usually used by kids during the day for games and whatnot, but I've sorted out a security application that only activates during the night, which is when you're here, obviously. Everything you'll ever need for your job is ready to use. Go on, press some buttons. You can check all the rooms with set cameras that are connected online, and the ventilation system too. Alright, I know what you're thinking. First night on the job, I'm rambling a bit, it's a lot to take in. And yes, I know there are a bunch of anthropomorphic plastic animals around you, watching you work. Trust me when I say I know how that feels. Your imagination might get a tad bit out of control. Stress does that to you. But don't worry. Completely safe here. I've built this place from the ground up to be one of the most transparent, honest, and safest places on earth. Unlike some other businesses. If you ever stop feeling anxious, looking out the window or just, you know, taking a look outside should calm you. That tends to work for me at least. Right, back to the anthropomorphic animals. I'm sure you've already guessed by now that these are our animatronic characters. Top of the line technology. Honestly, the name animatronic doesn't do them justice. They're more like multi-purpose robots. They can be programmed to do anything I can think of. They pretty much run this place now. Of course, again, they are completely harmless. They aren't physically capable of hurting anybody. Made sure of that myself. I think I might be going on for too long. Last thing on the list. You may have noticed that this is a pre-recorded message, which means if you want to ask a question, you won't get an answer. But hey, to fix that, I've given you some options. I stayed up all night to set up a simple Q&A system to go with your app. When this call ends, you will get three topics to choose from, and when you select one of them, another audio message of mine will play to help explain whatever you want to know more about. Quite nifty, right? Obviously not quite as much freedom as a normal phone call, but it'll have to do for now. Well, that's it for your first night. Check those cameras and don't forget to take a breather once in a while, alright? Your three options should appear now. The Pop Goes Pizzeria. It really is something, right? Which makes this a pretty broad topic to talk about, but I bet you can just guess how most of it works by taking a look at the place. Though I honestly think the next generation of kids' entertainment sounds dull, it is a fitting motto. When a kid opens the door, they can grab a weaselware phone from one of the shelves and play around with it. The phone will connect to a monitor like yours, but during the day it'll let the kids play games, make things with the 3D printers to paint on, use some of the repurposed arcades, etc. All of this and no staff required. Yes, Pop Goes and the crew keep the children and the equipment safe at all times. If they see a kid gnawing on a phone or a wire, they'll just take it away from him and get the parents sorted all out. Of course, that's not everything, but these options are meant to be short, so I'll try to be more specific with the other set of questions. That's it for the first night. See you tomorrow.